In this tutorial you will learn about dodging and burning. The objective of this technique is to emphasize elements on the image. The tools we'll be using are layers, blending modes and brushes. Dodging and burning is a technique as old as photography. It used to occur in the darkroom where the photographer would use various paddles to affect the amount of light being printed on an image. Today we can use the computer which is a lot easier to use. Generally what the technique is is allowing you to brighten and darken different areas of the photo. If you brighten an area use your attention to it. If you darken an area you tend to hide it, make it less distracting. To start this technique we need to ensure that we have the image selected. So clicking on the image icon here we'll select that layer. I'm now going to insert a blank layer above the image by creating a new layer down here. The next step is to fill that layer by going to the edit menu the fill option and where it says use choosing the drop down and choosing 50% grey click OK now the image is still there we just have a completely grey layer above it next step is to choose our blend option which is over here on top of the layers palette and we choose an overlay option and our picture comes back and what overlay will do is if anywhere in this layer is less or brighter than 50% grey it will make the image below it brighter and anywhere below it which is darker then 50% grey will make the image darker. So we're going to use that in conjunction with our brushes. Now I'm going to make sure that I have the default colours set here by clicking on that little logo there of black and white and I'm going to come up and I'm going to choose a brush. And now I'm going to come up and choose the largest soft texture edge brush that we have which is 300 Click back on that drop down now it's not big enough <laughs> so we can adjust the size of that brush by using the square brackets on the right hand side of your keyboard if I use the right hand bracket it makes it bigger and left hand bracket makes it smaller. So I'm going to make a fairly big brush. The next step is to change your opacity of the brush down to 10% which means we're only going to make little small changes nothing drastic. So first off I'm going to darken this corner of the sky. I feel that it's a bit too bright for my liking so just clicking and dragging around over in this corner of the sky you can see it's darkening it down very slightly I'm also going to darken a bit down this edge here which I don't think is still quite dark enough for me And then, one more adjustment I'm going to make is I'm going to lighten some areas of the sky. So I'm going to switch by using this switch here to a white brush. I'm going to just lighten the grass in the foreground here a bit. Make it stand out a little bit more. And these rocks over here, which were lost when we put the edge in, them a little bit out. 
Now again it mightn't see much, but if we turn that layer off and back on again, you can see the difference that dodging and burning can make.